Hi, I'm Mike with Prince Manufacturing Corporation. Today I would like to walk you through the guidelines of assembling our sectional valves so that you can get top performance. Make sure the environment is clean. Avoid areas near grinding or even dusty areas. Use a clean table that is free of debris. Even the tools should be clean. Leave the parts and sections in their plastic bags until you are ready for them. Gather and organize the parts needed for the assembly. This will include an inlet and an outlet casting, the work sections, there can be up to 10 of these per valve bank, the handle kit, one handle per work section, the tie rod kits, and the O-rings. Inspect the mating surfaces, making sure they are free of burrs or outward protrusions. They must be free of scratches or dings in the mating areas of the O-rings. You'll notice a light film of hydraulic oil on these sections. It remains on the sections because each valve is tested in our quality control program. That film keeps the metal in ideal condition during shipping and should remain during assembly. Lay the sections down, grooves up. Put the O-rings in place after dipping each one in the hydraulic fluid that resides in these plastic bags. This gives them a light oil film of lubrication. Pinched O-rings will cause leakage, so make sure they are fully seated. There are typically four O-rings for each groove section. For the SV family, the larger O-ring goes in the round center groove, and one of the smaller rings is reoriented to fit in the racetrack groove. The Series 20 family has O-rings of uniform size. There may be extra O-rings in the kits you receive. Thread nuts on one end of the tie rods, leaving approximately a quarter inch of threads extending from the nut, and place lock washers inside the nuts. Insert the tie rods through the inlet casting holes or the outlet casting holes depending on if you are assembling a Series 20 valve or an SV model. Then, place that cover section on the table like this, with the O-rings facing up. The grooves are on the inlet side of the Series 20 section and on the downstream side of the SV family. Repeat the O-ring steps for one work section at a time. Do not use grease or any lubricant other than the hydraulic oil as that could cause leaking. Lift the work sections and place them over the tie rods, making sure the O-rings face up and make contact with a flat surface, avoiding O-ring to O-ring contact. After all work sections have been added, slide the inlet or the outlet section over the tie rods with the threaded ports facing up. Place lock washers on the tie rods, then lightly snug up the nuts by hand. Rotate the assembly to a horizontal position. In order to keep it level, place a spacer block under the front edge of the inlet casting. Using a torque wrench on one end and a socket wrench on the other, lightly tighten all three tie rods to about two-thirds torque. Now, you're ready to progressively tighten the tie rod nuts to 12 and a half foot-pounds of torque on the third and final pass. The Series 20 family of valves is tightened to 30 to 32 foot-pounds. The handle assembly merely requires aligning the holes and inserting the bolts and a cotter key. Use the handles or a handle fixture to shift all spools fully in and out, making sure there is no binding. If a spool binds or for spring-centered operators does not return to center with spring force, loosen the nuts to about one-third torque and retorque progressively in two passes. If it still binds, you probably have a pinched o-ring or contamination between sections. Sectional valves from Prince Manufacturing Corporation, delivering to your bottom line through standard products and customized solutions. Be sure to visit our website or give us a call for hydraulic valves, cylinders, and pumps of the highest quality.